Welcome to uh, the International Worthing Birdman. This is the fifth one from Worthing Pier. Uh, we're going to have uh, about 28 flyers going off today. Uh, some serious and some not so serious. He's going to need some support here for a good job. Come on, Worthing! They'll be uh, flying for a £10,000 jackpot. Uh, anybody that does 100 metres, the furthest over 100 metres today, uh, is set for a, a, a jackpot of £10,000. So here we are on the launch ramp of the 2012 Birdman here in Worthing. This is where it really happens for the competitors. Right now, it's about half an hour before the first flights happen. And from my experience competing, this is where the nerves will be for all the flyers. Now, A big platform this year it's about 35 feet to the bottom of this drop it takes about 1.25 seconds of airtime before you hit the water for our fun flyers come on worthing come on worthing big round of applause here we've got the lightning flashing at the end of this ramp he needs to feel the crowd of worthing behind him today make some noise from the beach come on over here we've got our technical details we've got our wind meter the wind sock so the flyers can see exactly where the wind is coming from, because that is a real key, key part to their days, exactly where the wind is coming from. We also have their flight window down here, which gives them an idea of how long they have until they go yeah, off. Is this your yeah. first time, or have you been before? Yeah, it's the first time. I think you can tell by my craft or not. Here he goes. Here he goes. Nice. Hey. <laughs> people here yesterday. Normally on Sunday we expect double that, so we're expecting 10,000 people here in Worthing. So here we are then, right on the end of the platform where the flyers will be leaping off. We've got our stop sign here which indicates to the flyers whether or not it's their time to go or not. And this is really when you can look into the eyes of the competitors and see how nervous they are. This is 35 feet, it's quite a big drop and we can see by the markers out there, we've got our three markers, the 100 metre marker which is right at the end and that hasn't been made yet. The 100 metre has been very close in the past so hopefully today we'll see someone go that distance. <laughs> Here he goes. Oh, he's lost the wing already. I told you. He's gone. He's gone. Wow, that is a serious drop. So Absolutely 
textbook. Arms aloft, legs straight, straight down. Flying at all, I'll be happy. Oh, which is brilliant. So here he goes, then. Straight into the wind. And that is a super flight given the Fantastic. Come on, Tony. Come on, Tony. N'avait pas beau, plus fragile, plus précieuse et plus passionnante que cet instant où un pays m'en faisait évaluer. Come on, big cheer worthy. 15 seconds, and Ron's got to go. Can he take the win? Come on, Ron. Come on, Ron. 10. L'existence de Dieu. Okay, the wind speed company on four knots for Ron's flight. Yes, Ron. He's got it. Oh he knows it! Rob knows he's got the win! Fantastic, what a fantastic flight. So what are your thoughts on the weekend so far? Fantastic. A little bit of rain, but now we've got Sunny Worthing back. I think it's the thing, we sort of, sort of had everything, haven't we, over the last couple of days? Certainly less windy than last year as well. Yeah, a lot better. A lot better for uh, craft recovery and people recovery. Uh, but everything's going well, and so I hope everybody's having a great time. Absolutely, good stuff. And uh, obviously Sharon and I will be on the uh, uh, will be on the stage just by the big screen at around 3.15, won't we? Yep, got the prize giving. I already know two of the winners. Do you really? Right, you're going to be giving away money. Lots of money. Sounds good to me. And we also have a £250 prize for the longest flight in the air. And Ron gets that, which yesterday he was in the air for 11.97 seconds. So that makes 2,000 pounds. Well done. 